the coolest new features that they've added for Smash Bros. 4 is the ability to customize character special attacks. Each character is now getting 12 special attacks with various differences between them. Um, I know they've said that only Palutina and the Mii Fighters will have fully on 12 fully special different attacks and that the uh, specials that we see from the other characters will just be variations but um, I still think that's that's going to mean they're quite different because the one, one of the very few special attacks we have seen so far is Donkey Kong's Tornado Punch which is very very different from his giant punch like just look at it, it's really really long reaching it's, it is effectively a completely different attack apart from the fact that it's still a punch so here's just a couple of um, special attacks I'd like to see some might be more wishful thinking than others. I'm really excited about special attacks in general, and even if we only get small, disappointingly different things in this game, we're gonna see some pretty impressive ones in the next game, I'm sure. And I'm sure this is a factor of Smash that's gonna stick for a while. I'll start off by saying I would like to see Ganondorf use magic based projectiles in his moveset. I have very long time said I'd like Ganondorf to stick with his hand physical moveset and not get a sword or not change his special attacks. But uh, if we're giving alternate special attacks in there, then I'd love to see him represent some of the stuff he can do in game a bit, bit more literally than the stuff we're seeing him do now. And Donkey Kong got a big tornado punch, so Ganondorf could either use, use Warlock Punch and shoot a Thunderball or something. I think that's a more than possible, and I really hope they do it. That is assuming Ganondorf is going to keep his old moveset, which I really, really hope he does. On the Zelda train, I'd just like to say Link and to Link have a very wide variety of weapons, and I'd like to see them utilize that. Give them like the fire rod or something, just the t tornado rod was in Link Between Worlds. So just Link and to Link have a lot that they could put in, but the thing I'd like to see above all the rest would be the Deco Leaf from the Wind Waker. That was just a pretty cool and unique weapon in the Wind Waker, and I think it translates very well into Smash as a recovery. Next, I'm going to say Mario, and I know this one isn't going to happen because we've already seen Mario's 12 special attacks, but I would like to see him use the original Flood a bit more like it was originally in his game. That is to say, I'd like to have him use the Rocket Nozzle and the Turbo Nozzle as his down special. So he would charge it like he does normally, but instead of shooting out water to get people off the stage, we would either boost him forward or boost him upwards, and depending on whether it's the Rocket Nozzle or the Turbo Nozzle. So it would actually be used more as a recovery, um, than an actual attack, but I think it would just be really cool and useful to his move set. And Mario kind of works on the principle of having multiple recoveries as it is with his kind of cape and super jump punch. So I think having an extra recovery in a down special would be pretty cool. And it wouldn't be very abusable since you need to charge as well. Next is Kirby. I think Kirby could use the beam he has from his own games. Like Link, actually, Kirby has a lot of stuff he can do his own game that isn't fully represented in um, Smash. He has like one of the most representative movesets out there, but there's still a lot there that he, they can pull from. Um, but above all else, I'd like to see him use his laser from the various Kirby games, because not only is it a really cool looking attack and really useful attack in his own games, but Kirby doesn't really have a projectile, and that's kind of disappointing since he tends to have quite a few projectiles in his own games. So a laser would be pretty cool. Next would be Olimar's Rock Pikmin. Olimar's down special is the whistle, and just you can't really give that two different variations that is still just the whistle unless you're changing fundamentally what the whistle does. Like the only thing it could do differently is order Pikmin differently, and there's only three Pikmin to actually organize now, so the whistle is kind of a useless attack as a stand already. I'm kinda of surprised they even brought it back. So we're bringing it back and giving it two variations. Of the same thing that would just be a bit stupid so I really hope you see Rock Pikmin and something else special for Onomar's Down B. Pit like Lincoln Kirby has a lot to pull from his own games especially since the recent uprising and we've seen some of his uprising uh, attacks represented in his moveset already but I think it would actually be cool to see some of the older attacks in there as well so bring back the mirror shield bring back Angel Ring as alternate side dance specials even though Angel Ring was a really annoying attack the sound he makes when he does it but yeah, I could see them coming back really cool. And another thing that I don't know if they should represent it, but I just want to point it out, is that in the original Kid Icarus, Pick could use hammers as his melee attack. That was his actual melee attack. So it would be nice to see them in, but only if it doesn't look really goofy, since I think it might. Samus is my next character, and one thing Samus has done consistently throughout the Metroid series is has an attack that can freeze. 
It's like one of her most useful attacks in Metroid games, and it's plot relevant. It's the only way she can deal with Metroid. So some kind of freezing attack is kind of necessary almost to represent Samus properly, yet they haven't done it so far. I used to say make it her forward smash and ice beam have a freezing effect on her forward smash, but now that we're getting variations, I think a very, very good one would be to use ice missiles for her side B ice missiles as a thing she has in her own games. So give a freezing effect on her side B instead of a pure power effect. Next is the Fire Emblem characters. Mart's down splash is counter, and like Onimar, I don't really see them pulling off two different variations of this attack, especially since so many other characters have counter now. I suppose you could change the frame rate between the characters to give them more powerful counters with that are more risky to use, but that would just be the same attack for all characters when you have a lot of potential here. So for Mart anyway, I would like to see him use the Shield of Seals for his own game. And the Shield of Seals is the Fire Emblem, the titler Fire Emblem of the series, and in Mart's second game he uses the Shield of Seals on his character model, it's a plot based thing, he has to collect these stones for it, and it has an effect in gameplay. So it's it's pretty cool part of his character and something I'm kind of surprised they haven't actually implemented into his move set yet. Instead, they went a more generic form of animation move set. And when Sakurai says there's just going to be variation in the specials we have already, I hope that means that Mart's down special counter would just be a defensive move instead of just a different type of counter. So have the shield seals as a defensive down special, maybe working a bit like Pit's mirror shield did in Brawl. Now on the subject of Ike, I have quite a bit to say. First off is I'd like to see Ike have a projectile in his own games. He can shoot a sword beam type projectile that just attacks enemies from far away. It's a pretty major notable thing about Ike and his moveset in his games. So I'd like to see that represented in Smash Bros. And I go back to Dung Hyun again and say they've given a heavy hard hitting character a projectile. As a variation for one of his special moves, so having like instead of using eruption, shoot forward a sword beam, that would be pretty cool. Next is Ike's. Uh, I don't really know which attack I'd give to Ike for, but I'd like to see Ike use an axe, maybe as a ver variation of quick draw or his counter. In Radiant Dawn, I can use axes upon promotion, and he even has a plot based axe that belongs to him, that belonged to his father. So it would be pretty cool if I could use an axe in some way. It's the unique thing about his character that differentiates him from a lot of other, other lords in the series. Lastly, on Ike's recovery, something I'd really, really like to see is Saul and Luna. To give a bit of explanation in Fire Emblem, Eater is a combination of two different special attacks. It's a combination of Saul, which heals the user, and Luna, which deals major damage by ignoring defense. So I'd like to see Ike's variations of Eater being Saul and Luna, one where sacrificed is recovery ability, in order to heal yourself with the attack, and another way you sacrifice your recovery ability in order to deal major damage, so it's a lot like his other attacks with most of killing blows. I think these would be great attacks. Not only would it represent the ability in farming very well, it would have a lot of risk and reward to it because recovery is very bad already, but making it worse, you're kind of limiting yourself a lot to just quick draw, but they're still two really, really useful attacks. And we've already seen a healing move and the terms of Robin's Lost Farage, so it's not completely out of the ordinary to have another one now. So that's just it for the special moves I'd like to see. I could go on about a lot more characters, but I just wanted to limit it to just a few that I'd like to see most, and mainly from characters that have been seen already, except Ganondorf, I just wanted to say a little bit more about. So tell me what special moves you'd like to see, or what variations of special moves, and let's get excited about the next Smash Bros game.